Good morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing very well. If you follow me on Instagram you may have noticed that recently I went and did a bit of traveling around Australia and I ate a whole bunch of delicious vegan food. In today's video I'm going to show you everything that I ate in that week while I was traveling and I had the absolute pleasure of going to many plant-based eateries in Melbourne and Sydney and trying so much incredible food. <laughs> if anything, I definitely noticed that as time goes on, it gets easier to travel as a vegan in Australia because I basically had options every single place that I went, which is really, really cool and awesome and fabulous and all of the good things. Anyway, that is enough of me. Let's get into the food. This is what I ate in a week as a vegan whilst traveling. Alrighty, my beautiful friends. So this week of travels started on a Friday and this morning I woke up up in Melbourne at my mum's house and I made breakfast for the two of us. First I toasted up some gluten-free wraps and then I served them with avocado, roasted tomato and some fried lemon. Next time you think about having lemon with your food, fry in the frying pan for a little while. It makes it extra delicious. And then I also made myself an iced chocolate milk just on some soy milk. So I'm really on that soy milk grind at the moment. For lunch, my mum and I went to one of my favorite places in Melbourne, Particle Cafe, where we had a delicious vegan feast. I first of all started with an iced chocolate, which I had on Brazil nut milk. Very out there, I know, but super delicious. My mum had the roasted pumpkin, avocado, and macadamia feta on gluten-free bread, which was super delicious. I had a taste. And then I also had the Jack Black Burger, which is a barbecue jackfruit burger and is probably the best thing I've ever eaten to be honest. For dinner I went to Red Sparrow Pizza in Collingwood which is a vegan pizzeria with five of my beautiful friends which was really nice to catch up and eat so much good food. We started with heaps of fries and then we got three different vegan pizzas to share and we ended it with a vegan Nutella pizza for dessert. On Saturday, I woke up super late and my friends and I didn't go to breakfast until 11 a.m., which is very, very late for me. We went back to Particle again, one of my favorite places, and I started with an iced chocolate, this time on hazelnut milk. Some of my friends got these nachos to share and then we all got really delicious things. I got the Jack Black Burger again, which is barbecue jackfruit, cheesy sauce, avo, rice, paper, bacon, aioli served with potatoes. It is so delicious. Ali then also got the roast pumpkin and avocado uh, dish that my mum had had the day prior. And this is my burger in all its glory. Look at that thing. This day it was a really, really busy day, so I didn't eat properly until 7.30 p.m., which is when I fried up some azuki bean tempeh. You guys know I love tempeh so much. And then in some gluten-free wraps, I put some vegan mayo, rocket, the barbecued and fried tempeh with some avocado and sun-dried tomatoes. And then I rolled this all up. I had two of these in total and they were so delicious. Seriously hit the spot after a busy day. And then I topped it off with half of a tub of vegan Ben and Jerry's chock fudge brownie. This is my all time favorite ice cream. Sunday morning was an early one and I started it with some gluten free cereal, which I had with some coconut yogurt. I love a bit of coconut yogurt in my life, as well as some fresh strawberries and some soy milk. Then I went and met my friends for a photo shoot, which was super exciting. And my friend bought me one of these vegan cheese and Vegemite scrolls from Mr. Nice Guys, which was so good. And then after that, my friend and business partner, we went to Particle again, because it was very, very close to where we were. And we had the nachos, which came with avocado, blue spirulina, sour cream, lots of fresh things, lots of beans. It was really nice and refreshing after a busy morning. And once again, uh, I feel like a broken record. I had an iced chocolate on hazelnut milk, which was super delicious. And we also had this with a mock chicken burger thing. It was really good. Moving on to dinner and it was home cooked meal with my family tonight, which was so, so nice and reminded me of the good old days of living at home. 
I had some roasted veggies. So I had some cauliflower with a creamy sauce, some roasted tomato, pumpkin, corn, beans, and sweet potato. For dessert, my mum made a vegan chocolate pudding, which this recipe is going to be in my ebook and it has been in my family for a seriously long time. Again, brings back so many memories from literally my childhood. I've been having this for my entire life. So yeah, a really nice way to end my time in Melbourne. On Monday morning, I was back to the airport bright and early at 6 a.m. And I went to Muffin Break and they had a vegan muffin. I didn't know that they did vegan muffins now, but I ended up getting one, which was a blueberry one. It was pretty small for the price, to be honest, but it was really really delicious and then from there i jumped on the plane and i flew from melbourne to the sapphire coast of new south wales on the plane i had this peanut butter choc hemp energy ball which was really good first time i had tried it and then i flew in to the beautiful little coastal town of marimbula when I got there, I went to my absolute favorite bakery in town and got this sourdough fruit and nut loaf. It is so delicious. And straight away, I had two pieces toasted with vegan butter on top. I am seriously obsessed with this loaf of bread. Like I look forward to visiting my dad because of it. So there you go. For lunch this day, my dad and I did a little tradition that we have, which is where we go to this local pub that have wedges and I get them with some tomato sauce and we just sit there in the sunshine and catch up on life. So that was a really, really nice thing to do. And then that evening I made lentil bolognese for dinner, which is my dad's favorite vegan meal. And so I first of all made some crispy kale and then I made the lentil bolognese mix. I have made this so many times on my channel, but I do mix it up and make it differently pretty much every single time. And as you can see, everything is coming to a boil. We've got our pasta going along nicely there. And yeah, I really love cooking this meal for my dad because he really, really enjoys it. And he really is kind of surprised by uh, how vegan this meal is and how much he loves it. So that is pretty cool. On Tuesday morning, I woke up and I was craving fruit toast. Oh my goodness, I eat so much bread this week. It is ridiculous. So at 7.30 a.m., I cut myself a couple of slices of fruit toast and toasted it in the toaster. And then I sat in the sunshine with that and it had vegan butter on top, of course. This didn't fill me up for too long and I got this really cool loaf of bread which is like a potato and rosemary loaf of bread. It is so delicious. I feel like I can like taste the flavor in my mouth as I'm recording this voiceover. Anyway, I had literally four pieces of this bread, some with Vegemite and vegan butter and then some with hummus and tomato and avocado and it was really, really delicious. Then for dinner, dad and I made roasted sweet potato soft tacos. These had a pico de gallo mix in them as well as some uh, guacamole, which was super, super delicious. Tacos are one of my absolute favorite meals to make. It's just so easy and it's like a rewarding kind of meal. You know the feeling? Anyway, Wednesday morning I woke up and at 8 a.m. I decided I was feeling like an iced chocolate. Probably my favorite drink as you have probably noticed. And then I had this with two pieces of the potato and rosemary toast with Vegemite on top. Then at 1.30 p.m. I decided to make pancakes. These pancakes are definitely not the best pancakes I've ever made, not gonna lie about it, but they still tasted pretty good, although they didn't make me feel 100%, so this is actually the last meal that I ate for the day today. I topped it with some peanut butter as well as some maple syrup on top, and yeah, it was super like delicious and quite filling, but I just didn't feel good after I ate these, so I didn't end up eating for the rest of the day, which is very, very unlike me anyway the next morning I was on a plane to Sydney and when I landed in Sydney I went to shift eatery which is a place that I was super excited to check out and I had this really cool toasty with like vegan cheese tomato and pesto as well as a soy milk hot chocolate uh, the brand is Mork chocolate and this is the best drinking chocolate you can get in my opinion I am absolutely obsessed with it from there i went to bare naked bowls to meet my friend sarah for a well overdue acai bowl i hadn't had one for the whole week and was absolutely craving i got one that had peanut butter in it and it had a chocolate granola on top and then i also got some almond butter on top as well my friend sarah just got an acai bowl with fruit and passion fruit and coconut and bikinis 
From there, I was pretty full, but at 6 p.m. I went out to dinner with my friends Tony Ann and Mike at Gigi Pizzeria. I hadn't been to this place in almost three years and it is my absolute favorite restaurant in the world. We ate so much pizza and then we had this cannoli, which is my favorite dessert in the absolute world. Afterwards though, we were still feeling it and we went to Gelato Blue just up the road to get some vegan ice cream and I got a strawberry one and a choc hazelnut. Moving on to Friday number two, I decided to add an eighth day to this week just for your viewing pleasure. My friend Tony Ann and I went to Funky Pies for breakfast and I had a vegan chocolate milkshake on soy milk. Always a good time, especially when they're served in these metal things. Let me know if they remind you of like your childhood and going to the shop and getting a milkshake. Like that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, Tony Ann got a pie with mash and peas and gravy. I just got a pie by itself with which was the Moroccan bean tagine. Then for lunch, I went with Tony Ann and my other two friends, Liz and Andy, to Nutty or Nutty, don't know how to pronounce, in Surrey Hills, which is a place I had been so excited to check out. Uh, my friends had a vegan like mushroom Benny thing, some French toast and a burger. I personally decided to go for the cauliflower tacos, which were absolutely divine. And from there, I then went off to the airport. And whilst I was sitting at the airport, I started to have a really good snack because my friends at Nudie gave me a couple of things for the road, a vegan Milky Way and a vegan choc chip cookie, a delicious way to end the week. Alrighty, my beautiful friends. So that is everything that I ate in a week as a vegan. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you wanna see any more like weekly eat style videos. I have a super exciting one in mind that I don't think anyone has done before and I'm thinking I'm gonna give it a go but as always thank you so much for being here I really really appreciate it and I will see you very soon for another video have a beautiful day bye